Morning guys, um, just on the theme of gas valves still from the other day, um, sorry if I'm boring you to death, if I am then just let me know and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll stay quiet but uh, just trying to pass on as much knowledge as I can to young lads to make life easier. Um, we had a look yesterday on the different types of gas valves, one thing I, I didn't mention, um, this is a premix appliance and if you just want to pan round here to the air intake this obviously is the air intake for the gas and it's a, a, a one to one gas valve or, 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 or 50 50 now if you look in the bottom of the depression chamber on a boiler when you're doing a service especially when you're doing a, a service on a boiler that's that's three or four years old you'll usually find with a premix boiler that the bottom of the tray is clean so there's no debris in there now if we look at an atmospheric appliance over here <coughs> This is an old atmospheric appliance. If we look at this appliance, if it's not been serviced, you know, regularly, let's say it's been unserviced for three years. If we look in the bottom of the depression chamber here, all we see is a lot of debris, wasps, flies, muck, debris, because it's all dropped in from the, the air intake down into the bottom of the chamber. Now back to a pre-mix. This is clean. The air comes from exactly the same place as it does with an atmospheric boiler. And the reason for it being clean, not to teach you to suck eggs in any shape or form, guys, is that the air intake is working like a Dyson vac. It's, it's sucking all that debris up into the burner. So if you're analysing a boiler of the premix type and you've got a poor reading, before you start to alter the throttle at this point for the CO2 percentage, on this boiler it's 9%, by the way, but before you go to that, then you must check the burner. Now there's various ways of checking the burner. You can take the front off here and give it a vac out. You can take the, the whole lot out. But always make sure that you check that that burner is clean. Because what can happen, if we look at the, the burner that passes through, you can end up with a high level of debris across the bottom end of the burner here. And if you don't check that burner and you go onto the throttle, on the gas valve, just excuse me, I'll just get the, the gas valve. <clears throat> if you go into the throttle on the gas valve here and go plus, 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 even though the burner is full of debris, you can end up with a good reading. So you can end up walking away from an appliance that your analyzer is saying everything's okay, but the, the intensity of the heat and the flame at the top end of the burner is immense because we're burning at the top end, because we can't burn at the bottom, but the analyzer is in range. So if you do get a boiler that's got some age on its back, before you start to, you know, if you get a bad reading, make sure that you check the burner, guys. And when you're altering the throttle, so here we've got the offset, you've no need to touch the low on this, it's preset through the board. So be, be, be very careful with the offset. As far as I'm concerned, that belongs to the manufacturer of the gas valve. But if we look here on the throttle, okay, it says plus and minus. Well, if I take the, the side of the gas valve off, that throttle is connected to a slide. So as you alter altering the throttle, that slide moves up and down. And that slide, guys, is connected to this pip, this plastic pip. So basically, as I go plus, 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 what I'm doing on the gas valve, I'm opening the gas and air ports to allow more gas and air, or if I go to the minus, I'm decreasing the gas and air. So it's as simple as that till you bring it in range. But again, just to reiterate, make sure if you get a bad reading on a boiler of a premix type with some age on it back, make sure you check the burner. Once you've checked the burner, then mess about with the, the settings all day long, no issues. Thanks for your time, guys. As I say, I hope I'm not boring you to death. Thanks.